Many people are sitting on the fence trying to decide if now is a good time to buy a home. Are you? Maybe you're currently renting and you have a strong desire to become a homeowner, but you're unsure if buying right now makes sense. Maybe you already are a homeowner, but you realize that your current home no longer fits your needs or suits your lifestyle. If this sounds like you and you're trying to decide whether or not you should buy a home now or in the future, there's two questions you should ask yourself. Hey everyone, it's Zach from the Pelican Team Real Estate in Fort Myers, Florida. As I was saying, if you're on the fence about buying a home right now, there's two questions you need to ask yourself. One, do you think home values will be higher a year from now? And two, do you think mortgage rates will be higher a year from now? Let's dig into each one of these questions. So where will home prices be a year from now? If you average the most recent projections from the major industry forecasters, the expectation is that home prices will increase by 7.7% over the next 12 months. So let's take a house that's currently valued at $325,000 today as an example. If the buyer gives a 10% down payment or puts $32,500 down, they're gonna end up borrowing $292,500 for their mortgage. Now applying their projected rate of 7.7% .7 appreciation, that same house will cost over $350,000 next year, an increase of over $25,000. And with a 10% down payment of roughly $35,000, you're then gonna to have to borrow just over $315,000 or almost $23,000 more than the year before. So basing this strictly on increasing home values, a prospective buyer who waits just one year, they're gonna to need to put down an additional $2,500 and borrow an additional $22,500. And don't forget, you're also gonna pay interest on that extra money you need to borrow. Now let's jump to the second question. Where will mortgage rates be one year from now? So today, mortgage rates are right around 3%. Most experts believe they're gonna, as the economy continues to recover, mortgage rates will inch up. In case you didn't know, an increase in mortgage rates means your cost on a home will increase as well. Now, according to four major entities, they're predicting the following mortgage rates for the first quarter of 2022. Freddie Mac thinks that mortgages will rise to 3.5%. Fannie Mae also believes that mortgages will rise to 3.5% and the National Association of Realtors echoes them both, predicting that mortgage rates will rise to 3.5% in Q1 of next year. However, the Mortgage Bankers Association, they're predicting that rates are gonna to rise to 3.9% in the first quarter. So if you average these four forecasts, the mortgage rate for the first quarter of 2022 will be 3.6%, which is quite a jump from where it is today. So what does it mean if home values and mortgage rates increase? Well. A buyer is going to pay a lot more each month if both of these variables go up. If we use the previous example of the home that's currently $325,000 with a 30-year fixed rate loan at 3% with 10% down, the monthly principal and interest payment would definitely be $1,233. Now keeping the same example, if that same home increases in value by the projected 7.7%, it's going to go up to $350,025. And if the mortgage rate jumps to the projected 3.6%, the monthly principal and interest payment after putting 10% down jumps to $1,432. Now, since you're probably not taking notes, that's a difference of almost $200 each month. How would you feel if your current housing payment, whether it's rent or it's mortgage, how would you feel if that went up by $200 for the exact same home? And to break it down even further, that's almost $2,400 more per year and almost $72,000 more over the life of your loan that you're gonna pay. But wait, there's more. In addition to the small fortune your increased mortgage payment will cost you, remember that $25,000 increase in value of the home for the, over the year that you waited? The last homeowner got that money, not you. So by you waiting another year to buy this home, you're gonna pay $72,000 more on your mortgage and forego $25,000 in equity. That's almost $100,000 total, right out of your pocket. But the good news is that the ship hasn't sailed quite yet. Now, if you don't wait another year, the total net worth increase that a home purchaser could gain by buying this year is that nearly $100,000 I just talked about. That's not pocket change, and it only adds to your personal net worth. The bottom line is that when people buy a home, they often think of the non-financial benefits, such as laying down roots, feeling more secure, more stable, and more successful, which are all very valid. But when you think about when to buy, the financial benefits make it clear that doing so now is much more advantageous than waiting for another year. 
Now please remember to smash that like button, click the subscribe button down below so you never miss one of my videos on real estate and life in Fort Myers in Southwest Florida. I will see you in my next video.